Hey, it's Martin Luther King Jr. week! Do you know what I hate? Being tricked into watching something under false pretenses. It's so frustrating. You know, this happens all the time with movie trailers. Sometimes I think the people making the movie trailers know what it takes to make a good movie better than the people actually making the movie. And that's why I brought in my buddy Bobby Burns. What's up? Ha! And we're gonna give you five movies we wish had been actually the movie that they played in the trailer. Exactly. Number one, Tinker Tailor Tilder Tinker Tuckle Tackle Tickle. Spy. This movie made so much sense in the trailer. This like upper echelon of MI6. There's supposedly like a mole and you've got Gary Oldman and he's got to discover who the mole is without getting caught. Oh, sweet. I wonder who the mole is gonna be. I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. I wonder if it's actually Gary Oldman and oh my goodness, this looks awesome. I can't wait to see the movie. And then I went into the movie theater. Did I go to the right theater? It's the same actors and everything. This isn't the movie of the trailer. And the thing about this type of movie is it doesn't make any sense, but it's the type of movie that pretend just people love to watch and say, if you didn't get it, then you're just not smart enough. You know what I had to say to you? You're stupid. Number two, Transformers. Transformers and Call of Duty games get us with this every single time. I see the trailers and I'm like, oh my goodness, that looks so amazing and awesome and real. I want to make like the Little Mermaid and be part of that world. And then when I get there, it's the exact same thing as the previous one. Number three, Immortals. Okay, so they got me with this one with the whole, from the makers of 300 comes this movie that looks pretty amazing in the commercials. That's how they said it in the commercials. So I'm like, oh sure, I guess it's gonna be good. Then everybody who saw it was like, oh my goodness, this movie's so bad. And I'm like, there's absolutely no way it could be as bad as you're saying it is. And then I go in and I'm like, oh wow, okay. Now I see exactly how it can be as bad as they said it was. Number four, Man of Steel. The world was seemingly desperate for the beautiful universe Christopher Nolan had created. And whoever put together that Man of Steel trailer, they knew that. That guy just forgot to tell Zack Snyder. We were promised a darker, grittier, more realistic Superman origin story. And what we got was Russell Crowe in tights. Number five. <sighs> oh. Hulk. Not the Incredible Hulk, not the Avengers, long before that, riding on the thorax of Spider-Man, you know, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man, the good one. Bone size ready! The film Hulk made us think that we were gonna get this amazing, well-realized, incredible onslaught of Marvel comic book heroes put into cinematic form, like nothing we've ever seen before. With the promise of the Hulk swinging tanks around like they were ragdolls and throwing them up in the air, but instead, we got this weird mockumentary style jumbled mess of nonsense which made Hollywood abandon all Marvel comic book superhero films which is really sad you know because no they they didn't do that They've, there's been like 10 more since then really yeah oh Yo, what's up? Uh, this is Kevin with my bro Bobby right here. What's up? And maybe you guys haven't checked it out, but we do a series together called The Tube. Yep. You want to see that tube keep on going? You know who does? Who? Matthew Bird. He wants to see the tube keep on going. That's why he gives $50 a month to my Patreon. You got a Patreon going. I do also You can keep your pay his Patreon going. That keeps the tube as we work together as best friends. As best friends. Right? Like it wouldn't work without that. All right. So check that out. It's called the tube on bobbyburnsofficial.com. My channel, yeah. Yeah. Well, not bobbyburnsofficial.com. No, not that. YouTube.com slash bobbyburnsofficial. Actually, I there's a user in between that. Is yeah, man, you know, I hate whenever saying the word slash because it sounds like you're trying to, like, s cut. Slash. Slash. Like, they're going to cut you, and I don't want them to do that to you, I Bobby. I hope they don't cut me. I don't want that. Have you ever seemed too nice to cut me, though? No, yeah, of course. Good night.